Okay. That's what I got done so far. That's what I got done so far. Sebastian! Hmm? Climb. This is the farm manager right here. You make sure we are all working. Because if you sit still too long, he'll be clawing up your back. <laughs> Purring the whole time he's doing it. That's why I got done so far. I'm going to go do big patch next. Okay. You can see I got 14.83 acres done so far. Hmm. It's kind of neat how it outlines the road and everything, though. <laughs> yeah, we're going with that one. Ten bucks, cat jumps. So we're sitting on the mule. We didn't get to do quite as much as we were hoping the other day. And unfortunately, in the meantime, we got a bunch of snow. But we're gonna try to get all this done as soon as we can because we only have this unit for about another week. And we wanna get all the borders done. So uh, hell or high water, we're gonna try to get this all done. So Travis has already gotten quite a bit done. Um, as you can see here fiddling around with it so that is the main farm got the larger strips finished but I think the ones that we're gonna be doing now are the ones that are smaller and kind of tedious to do but it'll be worth having them done so that way the shutoffs will work on the planter for the waterways and stuff like that so this will really be worth it in the long run See how this line comes right across there? Um, the reason that's such of a sharp angle is because as we go along, it's kind of like tacking down a rubber band. As you drive along, it records your points and that will move from where you originally started. So that way uh, it kind of shows from where, you, from where you are your last recorded point back to where you started. So that way um, you kind of have a point of reference on your monitor, which is nice. Now Travis is going to hit the play button and it should snap up to where we are. It will once we move. Yep. There it goes. Now here we have the whole farm. See how 
this line comes right across there. Um, the reason that's such of a sharp angle is because as we go along, it's kind of like tacking down a rubber band. As you drive along, it records your points and that will move from where you originally started. So that way uh, it kind of shows from where, you, from where you are, your last recorded point back to where you started. So that way um, you kind of have a point of reference on your monitor, which is nice. Now Travis is gonna hit the play button and it should snap up to where we are. It will once we move. Yep. There it goes. And an extra 10 pounds for good measure. Just set that in the, uh, in the box. The caps back on. We'll see if they're low at all when we come back out. Flash forward a couple days. Travis and I are no longer two frozen farm boys. Now I'm standing in the machine shed at Rockville in my sweatshirt and all of the snow is gone. Now the other day we were running the mule and we noticed that the right two tires started going flat. So we came back in, filled them up, let it sit for 15 minutes, and we noticed that the tires didn't go flat again. So we're like, what the heck happened? Um, we're not totally sure, but we filled them up and we just said, screw it. We ran out and started running boundaries again. Um, if they go flat again, we'll probably just put slime in each tire because the slime is supposed to fill holes up to a quarter of an inch. And since they haven't gone flat again, I doubt there's a hole the quarter of an inch in size in the tire in either tire so as you can tell the mule has it set up and funny story um, we've been trying to run the boundaries for a while now and it just seems like we're hitting one problem after the other with the mule we've been running the mule all winter long for about a half hour at a time but never 
really for long, long periods of time. And what we noticed was that every time we'd start to run the mule for about an hour or so, that the mule would start shutting down. And we lifted the front on the mule and we noticed that the radiator's leaking. You can see that there's radiator fluid sitting down there. I'm not totally sure um, where it's leaking at, but this thing's gonna be out of commission for a while until we get this solved. Um, but in the meantime, since Travis has been running the boundaries, Dad and I have been pushing pretty hard to get the house finished out there before uh, field work starts. So Travis has been the one running the boundaries. And what Travis did in the meantime was he mounted the globe and the monitor on the four-wheeler. He says that he likes it a lot better because it's a smoother ride. And he says that compared to what he tried to get done with the mule, that it goes by a lot faster because you can go faster uh, since the four-wheeler has better suspension. Um, you have better control over your speed and overall it's just a smoother ride and you can get it done a lot faster. So he mounted the yield monitor. <laughs> well, I say yield monitor, but it's the ag leader monitor right up here on front. We got the modem over here and the globe sticking out front. The reason it's sticking out away from the four-wheeler is because since you sit on top of the four-wheeler, you want to have the globe either mounted above you or away from you so that it has maximum reception of satellites. Um, it's actually, I'm pretty sure with this globe you could do it without, but um, it's just one of those things that to optimize our placement, that's what we did with it. So. The battery's over there charging. Um, you only really have to do that once every few days, Travis said, because the yield monitor doesn't take up that much juice. And uh, he just mounts it right on the back of the four-wheeler. So that's where we stand on doing the boundaries. Um, I believe that Travis is going to be doing a video using the four-wheeler on it. I'm sure he'll run you guys through it. If you're interested in checking that video out, go to his channel, it is Travman035. Um, I'm not sure if he's, he's been talking about changing his channel name to something a little more interesting. Um, he's got a plan for it. I'm not sure if he's discussed it with you guys yet or the people who watch his channel. So that should be interesting um, once we get those boundaries done. And I'm really interested to see what the planner's performance and the shutoffs and everything like that. So uh, I just want to keep you guys updated. I got a few things I got to do around here today. I got to uh, take the couple bales out to my place. Got to take the bale carrier out, unload bales out there. A uh, bunch of other stuff might haul some manure. I don't really know. So, anyway, just want to keep you guys updated. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat if you're interested. And I'll see you next time.